Yeah, so uh, the way that Spotify works is 70% of their revenue gets kicked back to artists. So there's, there's a, a free tier of Spotify and a paid tier. Uh, the free tier of Spotify has a lower royalty rate. So if you're using a free account, I actually will get paid less for your stream, but they're ad supported streams. And on the flip side is the, the paid tier, which I would actually get paid more. But the, the problem with streaming for a lot of people is they have percentages that come out of their, their gross. The typical manager commission is 20% of gross. So if I was in a position where I had a manager, that's 20% that comes right off the top. With a record label, um, I might only have a 15% royalty of all the streaming money that comes in. From that 15%, I have to recoup my advance that I got. So, I mean, you just start whittling down all the income that you have. Your business manager would take 5%. If you have certain types of attorneys, um, we'll, we'll take 5% of gross in addition to a flat fee. So it can get really messy in terms of like all the money that comes off. So for me, being self-sustaining, not having a manager, not having any of these people in that infrastructure, like I, I'm in a position where I have to do those things, but I'm in a position where I don't have that money kind of coming off the top. So if, if I generate a million streams, uh, somewhere around the ballpark of $5,000 worth of gross revenue, doing about a million streams a month, Cross platforms um, and so that's just passive that kind of comes in uh, there's the publishing side there is uh, you know live performance merchandise all that kind of other stuff that's, that's secondary but what I've been focusing on predominantly is the, the passive income streams because that's what allows me to continue to innovate rather than be bogged down by administrative stuff Three steps ahead of every move, now that's a check Yes, they wanna know my secret, it's because I never slept All my nightmares of me and 40 likes a wreck